remember, increasing radius corners, it has banked corners, it has sweepers, it has serpentines, it has 180s, uh, all that are different. The, the, the feel of the course is very different. Down below, it's almost like skiing powder fast. Oh, Signing on the best way. This is on most top international drivers' bucket list of an event they absolutely want to compete in and do. <laughs> right on time. Uh, nervous, but excited at the same time. It's going to be interesting to say the least. changes so quickly like before you know it the road at one point it's nice and paved then you get further up there's water and sand on one part so you're quickly having to maneuver around that and then on top of that it's just the fact it just changes so fast that you have to react within a split second what would you tell spectators um, as first time on you know be doing this to feel like a race car driver uh, it's the closest thing you can get to it you could feel the adrenaline rush as you're going up and around the course you, you feel exactly how quickly they have to think when that next turn comes around and how you have to quickly just be prepared for whatever's there because you really only have less than a second to react. This is awesome. This was a lot of fun. I don't know. We'll see once, once I get in the car. Um, I don't know. You said you're hitting 80, 90, so maybe get up there a little bit, maybe a little more. Oh, man, it was, it was crazy. We got, we got pretty fast. Conditions? Um, uh, they were a little wet. Um, he described it as pretty slick at one point. So we didn't go as fast as I think we wanted to, but. It was were you good. doing white knuckles? No, I was okay. <laughs> I was filming a lot of it, so we had some good. So good. gut reaction? Um, I wish we'd gone a little faster. <laughs> Honestly, we were following the guy, so we kind of had to stay at his speed, but, but it would have been cool to go a little bit faster.